Okay, hello again. I'm going to give another brief tutorial, uh, this time just basically looking at how you can do an advanced search in Google Scholar, although you can do this in most any search engine. Uh, for this search, I'm going to take um, Finn's uh, topic on trans people in film. Uh, I'm not going to go into that much detail uh, on the search because I think I did that fully in, in the other uh, um orientation or other uh, tutorial um, but I'm just going to do this to simply show different ways that you can look at different uh, terms to get the widest range of hits available now this may not make a big difference in the long run but you're but basically what I'm getting you to do is look at the search results for this so if I did a simple search on trans people and I'm using uh, the term that Finn originally used um, and to the search for trans people film, right? So uh, that could get some results, and we could just see what we get with that. But film is often a uh, term used in a lot of different disciplines, so it might mean something different uh, in different contexts. Um, but you'll notice that we actually do get a lot of hits just off of looking at trans people and film. Um, and I haven't even sorted anything with dates or anything, and they've all kind of floated to the top. Now, we've got 964 results. Um, now, we've got patents and citations included there, which I'm going to take those out. Should have had those off of my search criteria anyway. Changes some, not a lot. Um, however, I want to do a more advanced search. Um, now, you can learn the terms, and you'll actually see how they show up here, but the, if you've never really used any advanced searches, the easiest thing is to come over here under the settings, where the settings are at, and choose Advanced Search. And you'll see that your search crit criteria will pop up, but maybe I want to find things other than film, because film might be too limiting. So, um, I might put film, movie, cinema, movie, um, all of those will then show up as a hit. And you'll notice there's a few other things. You can put exact phrases in here. Now, you can actually put quotation marks around words to get this. Um, or, uh, for example, trans people usually is a, uh, a term that goes together. You could also have people, you could also have trans, and they wouldn't necessarily be together. So if you want to make sure that trans and people are together, as a phrase, you can do that as well. That may actually narrow it down, uh, but the film, movie, cinema, movie will actually expand it. So, I've actually narrowed it, but expanded it at the same time. Now, you'll also notice that I could have done the same thing because trans people can often be uh, also transgender is a common term. Uh, might uh, expand results. And there's how it really opened it up. Um, there's also uh, older, more outdated terms, such as transsexual, even though that may be uh, some considered sometimes a, an offensive word. It is something that might have shown up in older scholarship on, uh, in, in certain um, journals. And it increased it a little bit. So you can start to see that there are lots of ways that you can come in here. And depending on what you're looking for, look, uh, learning how to expand or reduce uh, the types of hits that you're getting. So now you can kind of see where you run into some problems. Because by trying to be all-inclusive, I've included everything, which means I have 3,200,000 results, which isn't helping me out at all. And unfortunately, advanced search doesn't help you a lot there. Uh, it all lumped everything here into at least one of the words. So this is where advanced searches kind of falls short. Um, there are some other things that, that are useful, but you're going to see that you can, can do all these on your own as well. If you go in the title of the article, 
You can choose uh, it to look only within titles. That works as well as the sites put them together. Um, you can return articles authored only by certain people, published only in certain journals, so if you already know a journal that you're looking for, uh, and also with a date range, not just the most recent, as you see in the, in the search, the initial search query, but you can actually search between certain dates. Um, I'd already talked about exact phrases. Uh, we were doing trans people here. Um, but notice how we can't get with all the words in this set. So to actually pull that off, you're going to have to understand a little bit about Boolean searches. So if I go back up and look at the results of this, you'll see that up here it took everything together and then added another or. But if I want both film, movie, cinema, or movie all together, and I want trans people or transgender or transsexual as a group together, uh, but not all together because I'm going to get all of them as hits, my three million hits, I replace that or with and. Um, and for good measure, you could go ahead and put a parenthesis. It starts to look a lot like math, I know. But you can put a parenthesis around that. And so now I'm going to do a search where I want any one of these three phrases, possibility, right? And any one of these four phrases as a, phrases as a, or words as a possibility. Um, so I have to have at least one from here and one from here. And you'll notice now, suddenly, my results get back down to a normal 36,400. And it's now narrowed down to include a couple of different terms, which means I've gotten pretty comprehensive on a broader general topic. Now, granted, we can take that and then get it even more narrow if we want to. Um, but that should be a useful um, use of, of how to use a little bit of Boolean searches uh, as well as your advanced uh, criteria. Notice, however, by the way, if uh, I wanted to go back in to my advanced search, it'll clear out those booleans and boolean searches. It'll strangely put the and up here and you have nothing else to go with it. So you can't mix and match. You can maybe start with an advanced search to get it going, but then if you're going to get a more complex search right, like this, you'll need to write it out. Um, you can also use negatives uh, to, to make sure that something is not included in your search. Um, so uh, I will go ahead and put a link to uh, some of the different search queries you can actually add to a Google search to get the results that you need. Happy searching!